Okay everyone, Shadow here for another episode. Now, in our last mission we did the last Sturgeon quest that the Granny had. That means that we're left with the Kill Tall quests. Which basically start from the zero. Of course, I've already done all of them. All of these, so now we're going to high level quests. Which I haven't done, and they start also from the beginning. That means that the fa first monster I'm gonna face again is the Awashira. As for what I have, Ember Slasher Plus and my Dobro equipment and a really crappy drink. Okay, no skipping today. Probably you know why, because this is a high level quest. That means I get randomly placed somewhere in the map. Now, where could that Awashira be? Okay, found him, and as I expected, no more cinematics. This is a high level quest, it means this guy is stronger. It also means this is the strongest Awashira there is. And none of them is stronger. And because of that, and I want to keep these episodes small, and oh my god, I've never seen such a big Awashira. This is definitely gold crowned, or silver at least. Because of that, I want to show you what I consider to be the easiest way of defeating this guy. Now, as for the weapon, my ideal weapon to defeat this guy is the Switch Axe. Why? Well, you want a lot of damage, of course. That means that you can either use the long sword or the Switch Axe. But unfortunately, the long sword, it's you know, the Osher's moves are harder to evade with the long sword because the, all the jump, the mid combo jumps are a bit weird. I mean, not, not that they're weird, but they jump too much than what is necessary, while the switch axe jumps a little too less. Also, this is his fault. He's too damn big. Oh, an interesting thing I haven't showed you about the Oashura, and I probably won't be showing you, it had, is that he has a special attack. You know, like the Raytheon, when he grabs you, or the Giganox, and you have to start circling around this button like this I don't remember the joystick right and Joshua actually has one but it's nearly impossible in all the 20 or something Joshua's I've faced I've only been hit by it once he literally does as expected from a bear a bear hug he does a bear hug and he starts shaking you around it's actually pretty annoying but doesn't really deal much damage Okay, time to start time to start focusing on a hero on the fight. The Amber Slasher I forgot to say in the last episode and I'm almost about to forget to say it, is that I remember it from Monster Hunter 3. It was one of my favorite weapons. This and the Twin Fire Long Sword, which I'm gonna show you. My Okay, that third jump awesome. And the Twin Fire Weaver something like that, long sword which I'm going to show you in about two episodes, sorry for the spoil there. It's, pre it's pretty damn awesome and everyone has one in most of the three, so... It's been adapted to this game too, so... That's the special... Actually, I, I choose this Switch Act because it's the only one I have that's already Rarity 4. I hate when this guy does this. Uh, initially I thought it would be useless because... My prediction was that this guy had at least plus 3 or plus 4 ice resist, and turns out he has minus 2. So this is his second weakness. First one being fire. Okay. Now I'm safe. Come on. Oh, right. Forgot the comrades. Uh, what happens is that the other two guys are already level 20, so there's really no much point in bringing them to quests if they aren't going to level up. Just so they can help me with the quest, I'm much rather level up other guys. These two are actually level, I don't know, what, 4 and 6 something? They're here with their Oregon armors. Go Crucius! This guy's too big. A uh, regular size Osh wouldn't be able to hit me with, with that. I won't be able to get at least half those hits. Come on. And he's out of stamina. This is my favorite part of each quest. Ah. 
When the guy gets low on stamina and you start just whacking him. Forgot to paint him, as always. Won't be much trouble. He won't go far. Come on! This move has a weakness. His four claws have a very small range. No, not range, angle. So if you jump a bit to the side, it's very hard for him to hit you. Like you do 90 degrees on him and he'll never be able to hit you. Come on, get up! Another funny thing I found out about the Oasher is that if there's honey somewhere and you try to grab it, the Oasher will stop moving and go immediately attack you. If he's in the same area, of course. So, I guess everyone, this is the end of this quest. I'm gonna take this extra time sh to show you some new things. So, hope you enjoyed this very easy fight, this is the strongest washer there is and he just got pwned, so, too bad. Rewards! Thank you, Nelly! And, just like I said, Golden Crown. Okay guys, welcome to my humble chateau. I actually think this is... No, one of the first times I've shown it, I've shown it in other videos, but I haven't really shown it in detail. These are my cats, Nelly and Crucis, which I used. Oh, 18 and 12. They leveled. Invictus and Spartacus already have very high level, and they also have... Photo and GRPD, each at level 20. So train them. They actually have a very weird training programs. Maybe I'll show it later if I have enough time. This is their equipment which I can make out of scraps which are made when I, whenever I do my armors and weapons and let me show you everything here I haven't ever showed you this the items of course you probably already know all of these and all these two the scraps really nothing special here so I'm gonna show you the equipment now great swords no long swords a very nice amount this is the one I was talking to you about Everyone in Monster Hunter 3 has one. I have one too. And here I have one too now. So this is made from Gen Mora. So, but still, what I want to show you, and most important here, is this. The skill sets are really awesome. Number one, they gave you 45 sets. That's a lot. And more important, well, as you can see right now, I have Attack Up Large, Runor, and Adrenaline plus one. If I go here and I equip, let me just register this one first, I haven't registered it, I think. If I go here and equip my Dobro set, you may now notice that I have high speed gathering. Why? Because the sets actually record the position of the jewels. So no longer do you have to start taking jewels from one set and equipping on the other end. Really, it saves you a real lot of trouble, it's awesome. And also you can change them right here, the decorations. Here we go. You can remove them or place them. And it's the same button. You can just remove, place, remove, do whatever you like. So, no, let me show you the, just the rest of the weapons. Uh, gun lances. Love gun lances. Switch axes. A real large amount of switch axes. Like bowguns. This one I've used a lot, I haven't shown it in any of my videos, I think. This one's a special gun lens, made from a, sp a secret book or something. I don't know, just look, free clust and light. It's one of a kind, it requires these things, let me show you. Uh, here they are, secret books, and you'll get one of each weapon, and, and then you can turn it into a weapon, it's actually the very stupid guy that gives, it, that gives them to you. This guy right... This guy right here, he gives them to you. I 
think there was one thing on it. No, okay. Already done all for quests except for this one, which I'm going to save it for last because <laughs> I'm really expecting it to be very, very, very hard. Like the Monster Hunter Quest in Monster Hunter Freedom Unite, you can barely use it even with end gear equipment. And now let me so show you my cat's training. There are special trainings which you buy from that guy with, uh, with Yokomo points, and let me show them to you. Okay, someone's not doing what they're supposed to do. Marathon, no. Okay, first one I want to show you is this guy right here. Right here. Yeah, I don't speak uh, whatever language that is. Japanese, I believe. Aren't you going to do something? Guess not. Cruz is right here, he's doing rock climbing. Let's just see how that goes. And he did it. Now let me see you try that again because I'm almost 80% sure that you're going to fail. Come on, fail already. Ah, not fair. I don't care, I still have at least 3 minutes or 4 minutes of video, so I'm gonna keep watching you until you fall. Because I know you're gonna fall. And he fell! <coughs> there you go. Mining points. This is the brand new mining point I got after being able to go to high level quests. Carbally Tor, which is the most valuable ore right now. There are actually three types of enhanced spheres. The one for Mechalit, the one for Dragonite, and the one from Carbalit. So I'll show you how I run through this place. I was mining these two places. Now I'm not gonna go there yet because I still need my shrooms. Rooms. Now I can go here. Get two best guys here and pickaxe rooms so they can go there and mine some things. Off you go. And a fail. I didn't want to fail. I really have no control over that one. This one, however, let me see if I can do it. One, two. Ah, too early. S still good. Also got a new insect interactive or whatever. What's it called? A new perfume. Royal perfume. Makes you look wealthy. I have no idea why am I running around here naked. I sent my cats on the quest, now they've returned with a lot of stuff. I'll s go send them go fight an Arda. Off you go. And finally I have one, two things left to do. Mm, whoa, this game's slowing down, no idea why. Oh, look the guys up there. Ah, no. I want to show you. <laughs> All the cats have just got sent to the water if you didn't see that. I, w I always breed these kind of power seeds so they, they give me a lot of money. About 3000 Z's per quest. It can really help you if you're short on money but still I always do it. Now only one thing left. This. I usually do this the other way around, so I go through this side and end up going back here. This is how I run through the Poké Farm. No, Yakumo Farm, excuse me. We're no longer in the Poké Village, we're now in the Yakumo Village. So with that and some eggs, I say goodbye.